Pinned in the comments is a video of this incident. I know this is going to come to shock to everyone on my channel, but the cult in Canada has a legal counter protester. And the police showed up, it appears, due to complaints of the cult about the legal protester who's standing on the orange property. The orange area is public land. Yes, that is public. We know it's listed online and more people appear to be coming. So maybe go watch some more live streams of this group. Now, this group, of course, is living in a building that according to the owner, they have not paid for, they are not renting, and they are being evicted from. So they're basically squatting according to the owner. Now, I fully expect them to pull some more sovereign citizen explanations for why they should be allowed to stay, because reportedly this is one of their cars. Private property notice, non-commercial, non-resident, private property for private use, no trespassing, no consent for towing, man traveling on a public right away, voluntary consent, no surety, no uh, voluntary second witness, all rights and remedies reserved, you have been noticed, forewarned. Yeah, it's sovereign citizen gobbledygook. Now, you might think, well, does that affect the American group as well? Yes, yes. If you've watched my past videos, they've gone big on how you don't need a driver's license, which is not true. Recently, they've had complaints about how you don't have to pay the IRS. All of these groups have a nice big sovereign citizen vein running through them because they decided those are the easy marks. Those are the people they can get money out of. 